Welcome back guys, Fearless Dojo here, and we are leaving Theros? Stand by, short right. right. decontamination in progress. Pull my mic out so you guys can hear me better. And my Commander, oh. you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you okay? Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. Is that a bad thing? But sometimes Going to spectres have to make to help a human colony? I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Those three suck. Let's go talk to the crew. See if anybody's got any more to say. Go down here first. <clears throat> Rex, what you about? What you about, sir? What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. The 
but he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, oh. well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Mm. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Mm. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Your sister, I assume? Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? They are. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. <laughs> ah. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family <laughs> seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest, she's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. 
Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did, Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Vid mails. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? I think I just quit that. They do great things to her figure, though. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. He missed? When he swung, she just... she wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The oh Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. <laughs> That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? 
I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later. Well, yeah, shut up next time, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. We got other conversations to be had. Commander, good to see you. Good to see you. You've guys. been with a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Four testicles. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? <laughs> I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies, then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. Hmm. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Padlet and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't. But at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they'd died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Well, let's go get Saleon. How 
Ollie. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Theron's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. <laughs> so are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. Why didn't you tell me this before? I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. Huh. See you later. Alright. We need to find her a really nice toy. Dogs are bananas. Okay. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Anything I can do? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. 
Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. Hmm. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Well, you're a hell of a biotic, though. You must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Alright, so at the end of the last episode, I told you guys we were going to do the expansion, but I think we'll go ahead and knock out Here's his little side beef. To find that strange doctor dude. Find Dr. Salian. Eris gave the coordinates of Dr. Salian's last known whereabouts. Head to the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Kepler Verge. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from Just the kidding. Citadel. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. Kidding, guys. Just kidding. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract <laughs> attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Hmm. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. I will say this game does a good job of keeping you... Um... Giving you lots of options to choose from, that's for sure. Open ended. Race against time. Saren is searching for the conduit. They explore Pharaoh's Novaria and Artemis Tau cluster in Vermart. <laughs> okay. Alright. You received word that a Salarian reconnaissance team on Vermar has information about Saren. The message was unclear. Uh, Herschel system and the Kepler Verge. That's what I'm interested in right now. Herschel. Blasting off into space. Iconic ship. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command Jeez. coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. 
We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Okay. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm pretty amazing. Class modular conveyor of human design in addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Private owner, Dr. Park. Garris said he would like to come, and I'm bringing Ashley. Let's get this done. to use this model they made about everything. Test subjects, whatever the Gathnik comes into, Dorian dolls. See it. What? Look at his health. This boy's almost dead. Is there another way out of here? for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Finally! Oh. That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. 
Ilion's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Sure, why my frames dropped to 20 all of a sudden. No obvious reason. to the soul system in the local cluster and deal with the rogue a vi on earth's moon i guess we could do that i don't think that's gonna be a very fun mission i know be one of those little side mission things i think Soul local cluster. Oh, okay, this is our source. Okay. Scared to bring bring Rex. I don't think anybody's here. Um, Alliance training facility. Go. This place is nice and flat. Look at this. This is real good. It should all be like this. This wall. Ooh, there's Earth. <clears throat> I'm ready to get to the second game. First, I, I mean, I love the story in this game. Great story. It's just all the gameplay is kind of lame. Like, I don't think you do any of this crap in the other games. And the side missions are like, you know, really well written. But like they actually have a point. Like, I'm pretty sure in this side mission, we're just gonna run in and blow up some random stuff or something. Gonna be, that's gonna be the fun. Alright. 
That's Earth. In route. Let's go. What we got? That was another door that was going to open. Perimeter clear. to hit those things. Yeah, I mean, these missions are not exactly riveting gameplay. Flicker and die. The first of the three computing clusters continue. Uh, okay, do that two more times. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Those are tough, though. I mean, I'll give. They just charge you with their shields and they don't take any damage. taken care of. This will probably be the last side mission I do besides the um, ones for the party members. Oh, those are difficult. Alright. 
Act like we know what we're doing. It's a good thing you put up those shields that are really easy to shoot around. Really? What is the proper exit? down one to go go get it guys shut this AI down I do. Um, oh, suck. Only plus twenty percent damage or synthetics is not doing nothing. 
gosh. I believe I'm still wearing this armor from like... I don't know. Early on? Look at them all cluster up. Better get a level out of this. Additional security runs powering up. noise over all frequencies nearly def deafens you. Your head suits heads up display, hard suits heads up display, and it prints it into a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Specialization class will replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain from each rank in your specialization class. Oh. Bastion, use your biotics for defense or for opponent immobilization. It reduces recharge time on all biotics, improves barrier and stasis. Medics combine attack and healing abilities to boost the efficiency of the entire squad. Improves recharge time on medical abilities, improves first aid, improves neural shock. I want that one. What I want. We're done here. button fast now. <laughs> Alright. We got this dumb mission out of the way. To the Normandy. Now we're gonna go back to the Citadel. I get a message.
Citadel. this thing. 13.2 million. Not as many as I thought, really. I guess that's quite a few. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Tin Hut! That is Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our <laughs> ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Is something fishy happening here? Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? There are no amateurs on this crew. They know to keep idle chatter minimized during combat, and I can bellow with the best DIs. A fair point. I suppose the design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things bass backwards. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. There's two ways I could take that, Commander, but that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money. But I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. <laughs> Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. See, I love putting points into... Um... Talking. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of squad, yeah, I got a couple points. Ashley's got two points. Liara's got all of the points. Mm. Stasis is a good ability. I will let her use stasis. Warp is really good. Rage of Vortex, also good. to go where is it that we need to go I think they have something else locate signs of battle sorry writings missing writing you can when you enter as far as someone there may need assistance you found the dead bodies served them out return to the citadel tower and inform the admiral of their fate after years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Gotta please them investors. Commander Shepard. Sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindoir. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. You mean she was taken in the raid that killed my parents? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. She got free somehow. Grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh... She says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Where's the... Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Okay. Is this the docking bay? Alliance right. officials have raided a dangerous <laughs> cult controlled right. by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Commander, glad to see you. Wish it were under better circumstances. Where is she? Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I... I I'm just doing my uh, job. why? One way or another, she's coming out of there. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Mm. Huh. Stop! Stop! What are you? Gun at me? What are you? My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. The Masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You must have a name. A name you were born with. Can you remember it? All oh, my animals have names. There's a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... 
she doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. What's the last thing you remember from Mindwar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know. She hopes to leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they'd go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe that. This chick is change. crazy. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. Hmm. How did you get here? Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. She tries to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. The Marines who rescued you, they were the first humans you'd seen in 13 years, but you tried to heal your captors. Why? If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl, a dirty girl, a stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her, doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? No, she's no good! Don't want to be handled again! What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide! They hit the masters. But the masters... They have lights and hoses. Daddy's... He's melting! Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make she her look! Don't look! She is making stupid, no sense. Stupid! I don't want to hear that. You survived 13 years in a slave pen. You're strong enough to deal with a memory. She's not strong. She's weak and stupid. All humans are. That's what the masters say. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the Masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I was on Mindwar. My parents died in the raid. Lying! You get hit for lying! <laughs> get the buzz or the burning. Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. Nobody breaks I fought. My whole family fought and got hit by an artillery strike for their trouble. I got buried under rubble. If they saw me, they left me for dead. Dead animals can't work. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Please don't touch her. She's dirty. You'll catch it. I don't know the difference here. Give her the sedative? Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. 
Oh, stick. Will she have bad dreams? This is powerful stuff. You won't dream at all. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Me. But she wants to remember. Okay. Is it over, Commander? I got her to take the sedative. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just... when I see her curled into a ball and shivering... It... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? To make people who do these things pay. It's not the severity of punishment that deters crime. It's the certainty. So we clean up the wreckage, shoot the guilty, and hope everyone else learns not to mess with us? Great. I'll take care of it from here, Commander. I'll take care of it from here, Commander. I am French. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. All right. Commander Shepard? Hello? Police have been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Right. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Hmm. I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. <laughs> the eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. You're ugly. Just saying. Sorry, that just came out. That just came out. Uh, I want to go to Citadel Tower and talk to somebody about dead marines. I think they might be on the bar. I don't know. I have no idea where they're at. Oh. They're over here. No, I'm waiting to... Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? They were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. 
placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. I hope you find what you're after, Admiral. I will, Shepard. I'll let you know when I find anything out. Hmm. Oh, put that away. And now I want to go to where? Speak to Nasana in the Embassy Lounge on the Presidium level of the Citadel. Nasana. Embassies. Lounge is probably that bar. I think this is the DLC. I could. Uh, this could just be another stupid side mission. I don't know. But I think it is. Correct. Nasana. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. <laughs> they haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. Those Marines died. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. I'll Don't do worry. it. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay, boss. This way. Hmm. This might be another stupid side mission, I'll be honest with you guys. I could be way off. At least loading screens are short for all this quick travel. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That was me. I destroyed it. Had to be done.
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. That's you. You're you're Exo Presley. I'm pretty sure we're going to the Artemis Tau. Cluster to the Mesodon system in the Artemis Tau cluster. Message coming in. Oh, gosh. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it the right way. She wasn't the most sympathetic audience. This won't happen again, Commander. We have a press corps so personnel don't have to deal with her kind of BS. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Alright, so we are going to Ultimus Tau Cluster. Mesodon. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Mm. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, That's quick. Get this message. It was a group called Serpers, an Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. <laughs> uh, all right. Scans for the detected largest concentration of xenon. Level one pressure hazard. Dies too much. Going on out here. Wow. 
Off the wall, please. <laughs> Upstairs we go. Hard decryption? Hmm. Discover evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Nisanadante these slavers and Nisanadantes, an important ambassador on the Citadel, are sisters. She returned to Presidium and confront Nisana with this. Oh, goose trace? Or, um... Okay. So... Oh, this is like an ambush or something. Like, I was supposed to die here. Great kit. To the Yangatsi system and the Voyager cluster and investigate service activities on Bintu. Go to the Yangatsi system, Voyager cluster, Yangatsi, Bintu. That's our next stop. Voyager cluster, Yangatsi. side missions but a liar I guess hopefully this one will turn into something must 
because there's two questing and there's been some dialogue. Find out. Whatever, um, facilities. Okay. This place is just gonna be stacked with people. Exactly the same. Uh, this is my last one, I promise. Kill one of these guys. There was no sign of Kalko among the creeper corpses. He must be in one of the other labs. Where she is. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Hey, light armor. Nice. Builds 105. Uh. Six. That's even better, isn't it? What about my amps? I got any better amps? Oh, much better hymns. There's a seven. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go clear out these other two facilities, I guess, while we're here. Riveting stuff. So we don't. Maybe the game makes you good all three of them.
way too impressive. bugs like we won't let you turn your camera or turn your body sometimes once you go to a building you're on so apparently For sure. I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll just kill him. Don't worry about it. fire. Shepard, this is my kind of mission. Glad you're enjoying yourself, Rex.
Didn't make it. Last ones, go get it. There's that weird bug. Snipers at this difficulty. Possibly overtuned. Unless that's just like, hey, that's what they do, they one shot you. Yes. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. Just that sniper left. Sending the sending the scouts out. As soon as they figure out how. One last stop to make, Commander. That much. Oh, Rear Admiral Kahaku. Check for pulls, but find none. Admiral Kahaku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, God. It's Admiral Kahaku. I guess Cerberus found it after all. Found the location of a major Cerberus facility. Head to Nephron in the Columbia system of the Voyager cluster and destroy it. Okay. The major one. Only reason I'm sticking through this quest, even though I don't really want to, is Cerberus plays a very large part in the rest of the series. So I think maybe if I finish this there might be some unlocked dialogue clear, maybe? Was it me?
Where do I gotta go? We found the location where Major Serpent Facility head to Nephron and the Columbus system of the Voyager cluster. So Voyager cluster, Columbus, Columbia system, Nephron. Voyager, Columbia, Nephron. Let's see if I got that right. Oh, I bet you got a radio transmission. Oh, oh, oh. oh. rising. Nephron. Take them out. Get them punks out. Facility. Trying to get around on it. Okay, my hours can just bounce around. Moving on up in the world. Right here. These are tough. Somebody else? Go get these guys. I want to change. I want to change. This. This. Aesthetics. Better. There you go. Sure that does, but I have level six detection now. This place looks exactly like the other facilities. How is this like a large base? Like it? Come on. Come on, Mass Effect One. Oh. out there. Oh, 
take him out, please. The sniper scared me to death. Broken six. There's a lot of uh, stuff in here. Servers were loaded. Centenary rounds. Nice. What we got? What's in here? Cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped. The computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Okay. Is that it? Hmm. Alright. You guys see that epic climax at the end of that three part side quest? Ugh. The payoff was unreal. Guess we got a bunch of gear. I don't know. I'd rather just be on Vermeer right now or something, you know? Then I'm jumping from solar system to solar system, trying to make the world a better place. Transmission coming in, Commander. There you go. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on <laughs> Cerberus activities. Who are you and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. Your deal died with Kohoku. Why should I help you? The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. 
Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. Hmm. Well. Sure. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable man, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. To go to Norveria asteroid X fifty seven. What is this? What is asteroid X fifty seven? X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant Bohr. With the increased development on Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57 using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova. Okay. Let's mix it up. Who are we bringing? Uh, try you again. Interesting. I don't know. This is kind of cool mission. I think of it, this might actually be the DLC. Headed in the right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm dead. Through our stuff here. What all we got? Actually, rating capacity seconds two. Little six. Edge five. Alright, so. Let's 
That's all well and good. That's all well and good. Yo. There we go. Ashley, kind of showing Gladiator four. X six. Medium armor though. She wants heavy armor. Tank. Cryo rounds. There you go. And then Garrus. We're matching. The sniper rifle. Try that. Um, there you go. And he uses an assault rifle. The Thunder Four, though, seems to be doing pretty good damage. Keep that. asteroid. Tire. That looks like a Mako tire. Sail torch. Let's do this. Nailed it. Was that you? Can you hear me? I hear you. 
What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. Uh-oh. My Mako still has six tires. Oh, work on Mako. I get it now. Hey. Oh. Oh, God. I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Leave the fighting to me from now on. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance. Simon, Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are uh, four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities, good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. <laughs> Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. Balak. I didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. <laughs> that tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. 
There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. Right. Right. Well, seeing as how we're two hours and twelve minutes into this um, recording, I'm going to stop here and we'll pick up here and finish off this asteroid quest in the next episode. Um, things are picking up a little bit. This is more interesting than driving around all the planets and doing dumb things, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Creator Stojo out.